this release was all over the place quality wise and you'll find out in this video off lawyer union air jordan 4 another one Four days, two for seven. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I've decided to select three pairs of sneakers from the GOAT app so that I can go over the retail inconsistencies. A size 4, size 9, and size 15 were chosen and we will be starting with the smallest first. The right sneaker on the size 4 is rougher around the toe box overlay than the left sneaker and they are the same pair. The heel stitching on the size 9 is terrible and what makes matters even more interesting, this picture was taken in a consignment shop. Last but certainly not least the size 15 has the same issue as the size 4 but instead of it being the right sneaker it's vice versa. If I were to legit check these I would never start with the box because in this case everything seems to be in order. Sometimes the color may vary depending on how the sneakers are stored and also depending on the type of climate the sneakers are stored in. Brandon UPC YCM sticker is all accurate and the box is not flimsy like most people would think. It's a high quality box and it will get by a lot of checks specifically human legit checks so you might need assistance from the check check app. The retail quality on this sneaker spreads from north to west it's all over the place and kicks for days 247's pair is consistent unlike the retail pairs that I showed a black suede upper and a great job have been done here especially around the look and the feel of it remember that some retail pairs have mismatching overlays so we're good here the white cage is diagonal and I remember back in the day this used to be an absolute headache now it's like second nature for these guys the red and white ice stays aren't challenging and I deem them good enough yellow union and LA tag is peeking out in a mustard yellowish tag located above it is blue mesh and if we move all the way across to the toe box black mesh can be spotted red Nike ear branding on the heel atop a rubber black batch a sail midsole with a black hit at the dead bottom and Nike ear branding in red once again sneaker accessories attached to both sneakers for a more identical look if you guys are just wondering we have the badge on the left sneaker we have the laces on the right one so we're not missing out anything when it comes to the overall packaging or the accessories of the sneaker welcome back to my channel i am triple ktk and on this channel we verify retail and non-retail items to gain insight into today's marketplace a huge thanks to kicks for days 247 for sponsoring me with these sneakers so that i can test them out today for you guys i would tell any and everyone to go a full size up and the reason for this is the materials they are thicker than usual which takes away space from the internal side and obviously that is where you put your feet so you're going to have to compensate they are heftier as a result and i guess that's pretty much self-explanatory because the material is thicker than usual is going to add more weight onto the ear jordan 4 silhouette so these are a little bit heavier than your typical jordan 4 sneaker i don't think these are going to pass the check check app for reasons that i'll reveal a little bit later in the video at least let's see what they say before i do give it away at this point in time i am not entirely sure if they passed the sneaker or they didn't pass it but if they do pass it you as well as i know that the check check app needs a lot of improvements i mean it's a good thing to use to help verify or authenticate a shoe if you rather use either of those words but if they do fail it then i think they're getting better because when i did my personal legit check on this sneaker i failed it so our results are you know in alignment with each other before the legit check some of you guys probably spotted it but the main difference for me and i've seen 
countless retail pairs is the Mitchell. Near around the toe and the heel of it appears a little bit greener than usual and if you are wearing I anticipate it to be noticeable for a few days then after that they should fade kind of like my other pair I've been beating the hell out of. I don't know if you guys watched the first video that I did with these but these are my beaters and as you see the midsole right now it looks more authentic so this is how they look brand new a little bit green I don't know if you guys are picking it up or the camera is actually picking it up but it's not supposed to be that green so let's say I owned a consignment shop and somebody brought me this pair the quality is phenomenal but the midsole is questionable. To my knowledge, these are the LJR factory batch and a lot of blogs out there speak very highly of them, especially when it comes to Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s. And when you have a middleman or a seller that knows exactly what they are doing, it makes the hunt for the best quality even more sweeter. I'm happy with this pair. To avoid the green midsole though, make sure that you guys are requesting your QC pictures and really, checking them meticulously so that this does not happen to you for me is it a big deal no i don't really care about having a green midsole or my midsole carrying a green tint is not really a big deal whatsoever i could care less but for all the people out there that are sneaker connoisseurs and want your sneakers to look exactly like the retail grade pairs i suggest you check your qc pictures and if you're not good at verifying your sneakers partner with somebody that could give you that assistance. And truly at that point, I think your sneakers will pass a lot of human legit checks as well as app legit checks as well. That's the only call out for me. Everything else seems to be on point. Kicks for days 247, the seller, triple KTK, the reviewer, and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join my free Discord, Instagram, and my TikTok for more content. And don't forget guys, if you do spend time with yourself, You'll never be alone. Be easy on it. Woke up early, looked in the mirror and I saw gold. Drip out raises, up the Titanic, I'm sinking the boat. So let me down when I'm standing free. I was lost till I found me a coach. I was down, so I needed a move. From my head to the sky and go. You see me this time to rock it. Blast dog from the space, a different race. I live in a cockpit. Niggas vegan, stop it with the key, then y'all be basic, never trying to topics. Said he's reaching if it's rubber, preaching, hit his ass with his head of knowledge. I'm a king with a big buzz. Told him this gonna be a light year. Never stressing all these cotton blessings. I'm applying pressure, has to 